What is this used for? Uh, well, we can talk about it after. The election is fast approaching, so we want you to vote like a beast. If you're in New Mexico, today is the last day for you to register online to vote. So this is important. Get registered at votelikeabeast.com. If you're in Missouri, tomorrow is the last day for you to register online to vote. So it's important. Get registered at votelikeabeast.com. If you're in Indiana, Iowa, Nebraska, and Ohio, I'd like to know how. I mean all at once. All at once. Stupid I get joke. It. I, get it. Yeah, yeah. I was tracking. Early voting in those four states has started for you. So vote by mail or in person. This is important. Go to votelikeabeast.com. And remember, if we register 18,000 people by election date, we're gonna do our very first all day long live stream. Mm-hmm. Now, it's fall, which means corporate entities are squeezing every last bit of pumpkin juice into <laughs> every product imaginable including beer. Now, yeah. here's a riddle. If Budweiser is the king of beers and Jack Skellington is the pumpkin king, who is the king of pumpkin beer? Bud Jackington. Correct. Let's head on over to the shelf that we leave things on, which we call the shelf that we leave things on. We've done Coke, bleach, air, Guinness, salt, pool water, nail polish, remover, mouthwash, champagne, shamrock shakes, and Irish whiskey, a 93 Infinity G20, margarita, stirt, wine, glow sticks, citric acid, Red Bull, eggs for breeze, and coffee. But today, we're dipping our haunted fingies into some pumpkin beer. It's time for Left on a Shelf, pumpkin beer edition. All right, we're gonna guess what happened to things the mythical crew left in pumpkin beer for two months. Dang, two months. Two months, and if we get three or more right, we get to become human jack-o'-lanterns and good mythical more. Oh yeah, but if we don't get at least three right, we have to become human jack-o'-lanterns and good mythical more. Ah, okay, all right. Well, let's hop to it, get it? Because beer. Ah. All right, we got red vines and Twizzlers. Twizzlers are the super shiny ones, and red vines are the sm the more matte ones. They're called red licorice, but neither one of them are actually licorice. Because licorice is like from a black licorice root. I'm a licorice fan. I'm a licorice man. I know what licorice means. And I am not, which means I can I can so, deal with this. This is not licorice. If you say, "Oh yeah, I like licorice," you know the red kind. Well, you don't like licorice unless it's you like black licorice. Red vine vines are a lot chewier. Not quite as tasty. Turns out I'm a Twizzler man. Okay. But, but that's not the question at but hand. Which one of them fell apart like a total eclipse of the heart? You think that song ends badly? Is that the joke? Oh, come on. No, that's a that's a lyric. That's just what happens. It falls apart. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, okay. Um, let's Every see. Every now and then, yes. See, because of the glossy nature of the Twizzler. Twizzler. Makes it more resilient to pumpkin I think, beer. Yeah, the but the red vine is a lot harder. Having just eaten both of them, it's a lot harder to chew. Mm, that's a good point. I really think that the matte finish red vine held up better. Held up better because it's so much harder. Yeah, so, I'm, in, I'm in agreement. So we're saying we think the we're saying Twizzlers this. fell apart. So the one on your left fell apart. All right, so let's look at the red vine first. Oh my goodness. Well, okay, we were wrong. We had to. <laughs> yep. We should have gone with our first instinct. So if you look at, I mean, there, it looks like they just it just took the color off of them. So let let's take a scent. Whoo, man. Mm. You there, don't have to get that close. It just smells like there, there's so nasty much. Beer. There's so much. Uh, it's super hard, but there's so much for it to like get into. You know what I'm saying? And this is like. Yep. We wax, you like wax a car. You, you put wax on a car and it gets shiny and then water can't get in. We should have stuck with that reasoning. There's nothing at, well, hold on. I mean, it fell apart. There's a little something. It no. looks like a. Pull out one of those white Twizzlers. I mean, th these did not change at all. You would think these, they would be made the same. But they are made totally different. Here you go. They got a little, oh, oh they're super soft though. Yeah, so. It, should I take a bite of it? Yeah, you should. Oh, he did. I shouldn't have done that. All right, so now we got three animals. We've got a coyote skull, hmm. we've got chicken legs, and we've got um, a leather mask. I guess that's cow. Put it on, it'll stop the pandemic. <laughs> How do you? This mask will not work very well, okay? 
What is this used for? Uh, well, we can talk about it after. <laughs> it's smushing my nose. Yeah, we'll talk about it after. I can't, I can't, sm it's starting to hurt. <laughs> okay, what are we trying to figure out here? Which got foamy and frothy like Mr. Clean's OnlyFans account? Oh. Uh, wow. The I didn't skull. envision you saying that with that mask on, <laughs> yeah, but it right. made it a lot better. It changes everything. I mean, you could get me to say anything you want in post with this mask on. That's true. We should oh, just wear masks and gesture the whole time. Yeah, well, that we'll do that eventually. Have somebody else voice this thing over. Yeah. Make it funnier. Foamy and frothy, meaning that the beer itself reacted to whatever it was and became foamy and frothy, but it says which got foamy and frothy, so I'm thinking this the thing. A bone can't get foamy and frothy. If it had some meat on it, then we're talking. We're in chicken leg territory. So this is definitely gonna make a nasty reaction. Don't forget that one of the options is the mask you're currently wearing you may have forgotten about. It's just, I mean, it's just leather. But leather has been through a process, like a, a long process that makes it like resilient. So to me, the most obvious answer is that the thing that has the most potential to react is the straight up chicken. Yeah, I'm feeling that. So let's start with the skull and see what happened in there. Oh my oh, gosh, that it got foamy and frothy. Well, I know, but this beer. I mean, does that mean that the skull got foamy and frothy? How do I grab this thing? Oh, oh wow. I could just grab it. If, yeah, you know what? If you, no, You're just, over there. You do it. You do it. I didn't want to do it. It's got a cool colorization to it. Are we calling that foamy and frothy? Ah. I mean, look at the other jars, yeah, I would wait. say, before let's, you. Let's wait and see. So let's go to the, the mask, see if the mask is foamy and frothy. Oh, no. Definitely not. There's nothing going on with the mask. But you, but you, you know what? Put that one on. Well, I put on the other one. You can put on this. <laughs> Later. You know what? Later, when we discuss what these masks are used for, I'll put this on. Squeeze it. Yeah! Yeah, we've got a problem. Here. Okay, okay. If you can open that now that I've loosened it, uh, I'll give you a token. Oh, see, I, I like I said, I loosened it. So take that mask out, and put it on. No froth, no foam, but style intact. Nothing changed. Okay, so then over here we've got the. Nope, 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 nope. The chicken leg. Oh gosh, that is nasty. Uh, it is not foamy and frothy. So it's the freaking. So there's something in. There's something. You know what? They put something they on put, it. They bleached the skull. We should have known. They, we... they they bleached the skull. And look, the. Fu it... Oh gosh. Well, that smells like an old sack of hot dogs. <laughs> oh like, gosh. It's like. Oh. It's not anything else. It is a sack of hot dogs. Yeah, kind of. That's what, how they make hot dogs now. Oh uh, gosh. Did you hang out in a sack? Yeah, you hang it in a sack until it turns into legs. So Barbie tells us we can become anything we want to when we grow up, but what will a talking Barbie left in beer tell us? Well, we left a talking Barbie and a singing electric children's toothbrush and pumpkin beer for two months. Let's see what Barbie says now. Did you understand that? Did she's <laughs> That's not English. Is that German? Barbie, yes. Barbie speaking. You guys said German Barbie? I'm sure whatever she's saying is super encouraging and insightful. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? We also have a children's toothbrush. See if that's German. Okay. Underneath. Yeah. I was yeah, I was hoping that was in German too. It's quite annoying. All right, so what are our options? Which one stopped working like the American justice system? <laughs> Sad but true. Was it the talking Barbie or the singing toothbrush? I don't know. Um, which one do you think? What are you doing? Well, people said they like this better, so. Well, just deliberate. Well, why don't you deliberate? We can both deliberate, I guess. This is worse. <laughs> this is somehow worse than yeah. anything we've done. Here, can you give me some one of these instead? 
Oh, you know what we're gonna do? Here, here. You take one of these. Cause I don't like eggs, man. You take one of these. Take one of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want. <laughs> hmm. I want a strawberry. Yeah, but you're not supposed to talk about it. Mm. Oh yeah. I mean, it's like we're Fight Club. It's like yeah. Fight Club. The first rule of feeding each other strawberries and hangs is not talking. Don't talk about, about it. it. Um, okay, I think it's got to be Barbie. Doesn't work. And the singing toothbrush still works well, because I, I find it interesting. This goes that, underwater that all the one time. One of them works though. It's oh, that's a good point. It's waterproof, dude. It's got like gaskets on it. I mean, you can't, you can't. Yeah, you're little, right. Little kid, you're right? Gonna have this thing under nose. Needs a faucet. All right, so we're gonna take. We're gonna. I, I assume that is this the. That's probably the toothbrush. Yeah, that's the toothbrush. There it is. I don't have gloves on, but who needs them? And so I assume that that's still gonna work. I'm gonna wait. And then I'm gonna take out, the, oh gosh, we're gonna take out this Barbie before we find out. She does not look well. Oh, what, her hair is, why you gotta pull her out by her hair? Oh my goodness, this is a, there she is. She's like, I'm still good. <laughs> oh, look, at, look at her legs. All right. Okay, so, so we, we think that one still works. How do you turn it on? Press that star. Still works? Oh, not, not as loud. Ho, ho, ho. Because listen to how loud yeah. it really is. Yep, yep. So, I don't know if we're calling that still. Uh, uh, uh. Does it stop? You gotta hit it. Again. All right, so let's see if the Barbie still talks. How, how do you activate it's her? this button on the back right here. We go. Make sure. Barbie. Barbie. Don't shame. Remember how you used to talk? All right, we got the two things that guys can think with. Mm -hmm. uh, either a sheep brain or a kielbasa. Yeah. So like putting a kielbasa, that brain is nasty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just push that out because I don't like it being in front of me. I know what happens when you put one of these in a vacuum cleaner. Boy, we have a good time. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Now we got some of those left over, I guess. Now eating this with beer is a good idea. Oh yeah, cooking um, it in beer. Cooking it in beer is a good idea. Yeah, we're cooking so it in we beer. So what are our options? Which one got that stank like people who wear natural deodorant? Yep. <laughs> the brains or the kibasa? Now, brains never fail to stink, in my experience. I mean, this is true. This, this sausage doesn't, is. This doesn't smell at all. Yeah, but it's it's a raw flesh. This is, it's got nitrites and nitrates. It's already cooked. Yeah, but the way that, like, they used to hang these things up in, like, a, a cellar. And they would get better, not stink. I think they would put, yeah, they get better. I think the oh, brains are gonna yeah. be stinking. Are you going with me on this? Yeah, I mean, I'm going I'm, with you on this. So I'm thinking that the sausage isn't stinking. Okay, and that the brain is stinking. So I'm stinking. gonna open up the sausage. I'm gonna sausage open up the beer, brain. You know? Yeah, this smells great. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it's got that, wow, it's got that deep stink. <laughs> oh gosh, it's like. Yeah. Woo! You were right, man. Uh, okay, <sighs> I don't even know what, we got two right and two wrong? What I mean, do we get? What we get well, either way, you have to do the same thing, yeah, so. That's right. I mean, this is, this puts things in perspective. People wearing natural deodorant now, they're actually all right. Yeah. Oh, we also left Link's glasses in, what is this? Pumpkin beer. Pumpkin beer for a month. Oh. So that's where those have been. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, it's Nick from Modesto, Cali, currently in Humboldt County. And now it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Oh, wow, that Brett. Instant classic. I, th <laughs> I think we just found our new best friend. Yeah, we did. We All need right. to go to downtown Modesto. Modesto. Hang out in the Holiday Inn. Mm, it's a Merle Haggard song. It's not a, it's not a proposition. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us lick our way through a whole bunch of mocktail rims and go mythical more. And to find out where the wheel's gonna land. Make your voice heard and vote like a beast. Visit votelikeabeast.com for all your voting needs.